All right. One of my the things that I love is coffee. This is, doesn't have any in it right now. But as you can see, this has had a lot of years of use. Still percolates coffee just fine. I actually was given an electric percolator and I've used it. And I used it today. Uh, but this little guy makes the same amount as that percolator, the electric percolator does. And it doesn't use any electricity. So, And it makes really good coffees. And you can... You can uh, time it for as long as, or as short as you want depending on how strong you want your coffee uh, which is great for off grid another thing that I have let's see if I can pull back and get a better shot of this is this come on now focus is this a pump pot I don't know if it's going to focus or not. Anyway. And I really haven't been very faithful about using it. And I've had it a long time. You can see it's pretty rough on the sides. I don't know if you can see that or not. There. Maybe you can see it now. It looks better. Anyway. Right now, I've got some coffee in it. Not a lot. But uh, this pump pop pot will keep hot beverages hot for a very long time through the day which will save me on having to like reheat that coffee or you know use the electric percolator which uh, would be it's a I think I read on the bottom of that electric one it's like a thousand watts so I really can't afford to do that so I will be using this coffee pot as I used to Anyway, I'll use it on one of these little uh, stoves that I've got. I have used it on the electric stove too, but I'm trying to get away from all that. Get more used to... This one's not been cleaned up since the last use. Anyway, I showed you these little... Uh, Uh, called e stoves, and they use uh, pressurized uh, butane fuel instead of propane. Kind of wipe it down. This one's been sitting there a while. I've been kind of stuck with just using the one stove for a while, so it's been sitting. Anyway, it's this. I don't even have the label on it anymore. I've had this for a really long time. And uh, there's the fuel canister in there pretty easy to use it that knob there gets pushed down to lock that canister into place see if it's got any gas in it look here see that it's great and you can turn it down pretty far almost to off and it's still burning and these are safe to use indoors and that's a main that's a big thing for me it's got to be safe to use inside I have used them outside they work fine but you do have to have something around them to keep the wind off of them but uh, these are just fine for using inside. Move this back to its spot. We actually sometimes we have a little joke that we uh, we have a hibachi grill here, but not really. But we do sometimes set the little stove right here on the table and do our cooking, and then. Uh, uh, when we're done cooking then we can move the stove but anyway let me open this up right now and see if it'll pump out I don't know if I've got enough coffee in there there it goes this hasn't been in there all that long I just wanted to demonstrate I can get a cup of coffee out of that pretty easily close it again so I don't lose any heat And a lot of the times, I, if I've got milk, I'll use milk. But if I don't have milk, I use non-dairy coffee creamer. It's not my favorite. I'd rather use raw milk in my coffee. Let's see if I can see. Maybe you can see it steaming. 
anyway it holds your coffee without getting strong it just stays hot the whole time you don't have to worry about uh, your coffee getting like a burned taste to it like you do when you when I, and I'm bad to leave it in the pot all day or for a few hours and it by the time I'm through with the last of it it's pretty raunchy and this is pretty strong too because I made it earlier but anyway I thought you might want to see an idea for having fresh hot coffee uh, that's easy to it's easy to do this make the coffee in that and see I uh, see it's all stained up from years of use uh, put the water in there up to about there then uh, put your coffee in there however strong you like it put that on put that on put it on the fire and let it percolate I percolate it on pretty I let it come up to a pretty good percolation and then I turn it down low and just let it really gently percolate oh maybe 10 minutes because I like I don't like real strong coffee but I like a medium kind of a coffee okay I wanted to also add about the coffee making I've got a whistling tea kettle not electric of course and we use it for I make in the winter time I make herbal tea and things like that in the cup by the cup and uh, we also use it to make our oatmeal and some other things that we want to that just need boiling water poured in and then top put on uh, but this will boil enough water to get really hot and fill this pump pot so that uh, you can preheat it if you preheat that glass liner uh, with boiling water your coffee is going to stay hot a lot longer so in five minutes I can I can have this boiled five minutes or so about enough water to uh, preheat that pump pot pour it in there and it's easy to pour out of that spout uh, I have used a saucepan but I'm telling you it's hard to hit that little hole in the middle there but uh, it's easy to pour out of this pot uh, pour it in there, preheat it while, you, while you're making your coffee, whatever length of time that is. Then pour the hot water somewhere where you can use it again, uh, like for dishwashing or something like that. And then uh, fill your pump pot with the hot coffee and you're good to go for a while. And this is very portable too. So you can uh, take it with you outside. If you're working outside and you need coffee, you can take that. I've also got a... Uh, somewhere I think I might have packed it. I packed a bunch of stuff. I've got <coughs> a thermal uh, a cup, a travel cup that almost looks exactly like this. It's got a rubberized top on it and the steel on it and I've taken that with me before and it'll hold almost two cups of coffee. So focus again. Come on. There. Come on. Anyway, it'll hold almost two cups of coffee and I usually put some creamer in it and I'm good to go for a short trip somewhere because anybody that knows me knows I love coffee period I love it and there's always coffee here I have, don't think I can remember a time when I haven't had coffee right at hand and I went ahead and put a uh, creamer in my cup of coffee and I'm ready to drink another cup Mmm, I love coffee. Thank you.